Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Ross Adams and I'm an emerging tech lawyer at Michelson's. Uh, I recently attended the uh, ICT Re Research ICT Africa's webinar about the draft national cloud uh, and data policy that the South African government released, or more specifically that the Department of Communications released. And uh, the webinar was essentially a panel discussion with several interested stakeholders, including lecturers, uh, researchers, uh, there was even a representative from the AU Commission as well as uh, a few other notable people. Uh, and one thing that I thought was really important, uh, or a few things that I thought was really important coming out of that webinar, were the issue of uh, how the policy was written. And, and we, I think we all agreed that it's, it's actually uh, it's a very fresh document in that uh, it needs a lot of work. Uh, this is just the starting point for, for discussions on uh, cl cloud services and infra infrastructure as well as data in South Africa. And so there was, there was obviously the call for uh, more stakeholder invol involvement, particularly from various interested parties like universities, uh, uh, other departments, regulators such as the information regulator, as well as the uh, president's uh, commission on the fourth industrial revolution, uh, and and several others. But that was one of the key important points. And then uh, some of the other points that I thought were were very interesting was about ownership, uh, particularly who owns data. The the question is that there's a lack of clarity about. Uh, with the legal basis that uh, the South African government will own data. Basically, in the proposal, they are suggesting that they would be co-owners of data with uh, uh, with South Africans or foreign companies that uh, invest, uh, foreign companies that uh, set up in South Africa and actually produce data over here. So that was one of the interesting points. Another interesting point was about the fact that this policy falls within the scope of the Department of Communications and they have a specific mandate as as an executive part of the South African government. So one of the points was whether they can develop a policy that is so all-encompassing because it, it data, data affects every industry, it affects every government department, uh, it affects various types of technology, uh, whether they third or fourth industrial revolution technologies, and so it's, it's a pretty far. Uh, the policy has pretty far-reaching consequences for data, but also for other information laws, uh, such as um, the Protection of Personal Information Act, the uh, uh, Protection of State Information Bill, or Act as it is now, the Promotion of Access to Information Bill, as well as uh, the Protected Disclosures Act, because they. Those are, are, are typically the, the, the structures of information laws in South Africa. And then there's also, there was general reference to the Electronic Communications and Transaction Act and how, how the policy would affect that. But uh, another one of the issues or, or suggestions was that there should be a fixed classification of data. So whether it's confidential, personal uh, data, and, and how that data will be managed. Some of the questions uh, also arose around information security and how the government will secure the data once they actually have access to it and and for what purposes they can use their data. Can they use it for bulk surveillance or, or uh, something similar to what's happening in China with social scoring? And then uh, another interesting point was about uh, the the, the powers of, of the department in, in actually uh, implementing this policy and uh, whether it's something that can actually happen, whether they have the capacity to do that, uh, whether they have the right people on board and whether the, the policy is actually well thought out so that it doesn't produce consequences that uh, are, are detrimental to the South African public. So that was pretty interesting. and. Uh, one of the other points I think that, that I thought were, were pretty interesting was the fact that uh, someone mentioned that the policy focuses exclusively on, on 
or focuses on data a lot, but not so much on the cloud and what the cloud means and uh, what the, the infrastructure will look like for South Africa. So in, in conclusion, I'd say that there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this policy. I'd say that uh, more stakeholders need to be engaged. Uh, the different areas of, of government that need to be involved should be, and then also various regulators like the information regulator, uh, and commissions like the, the uh, CIPC as well as the Competition Commission need to be actively involved within this process so that uh, the final result is, is, is beneficial to, to all South Africans and that the, the interests of the public are, are valued and also displayed in the, the final result.